Hey guys, it's me, Tally December, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Right now, we're exploring the lodge. If you didn't see last episode and you're like, why the heck are you here? Go check it out. Uh, I guess, I guess. This is so nice to have such a big place to explore. <laughs> she does kind of look like her. Okay, CD. Cousin Jared's concert. October 13th, 1998. Hmm. Let's see. Who is that over there? nice reminds me of school really oh <laughs> the table I was like the candle oh oh I want to do that okay wait let me explore around first before I go looking for hello I'd appreciate okay I always found the way that they switch the angles to be really confusing There's nothing this way. Nothing at all? There's nothing this way? Hold on. What? Okay. Guess I can't go that way. I want to decorate. I haven't seen one of these since. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. Hmm. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march what a all funny night little through guy. a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, see, it this? gets so Ooh, cold a map. that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps, good my page. Tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage. She's got a nice voice. Coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> it means that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. <laughs> good Ooh, point. Oh, that must feel so nice. I want to get her a change of clothes so bad. Okay, let's go. I felt like there was a whole thing I'm missing on this side. Why can't I? Oh, oh, what? Why? Is this just for decoration? What the heck, man? Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You oh. knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. Yes. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. Did he say anything about before? No. He won't talk about before I met him. Hmm. Oh. Everything takes a little coaxing these days. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Find it. Is it the duck? Can we use the... That's too... We can use the duck, right? Okay, wait. I want to see... Uh, because I saw something over here. Ski shop. Okay. Just making sure we weren't missing anything. Okay, guess we'll put the duck on top of the tree. It's like an angel. Ducks... Oh, I guess they don't fly. They kind of do. Oh, okay. Guess that's not the tree topper. No, maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's upstairs? Man, I love Clementine, but she Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Ooh. Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. Yes. People? Way down there. How? 
She's got binoculars, genius. It could have been anyone. Yeah, anyone, see? That means it could have been them. We cannot take True. any chances. We leave at dawn. Wait! But we're safe here for tonight, But right? Christmas! Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? Who the hell is Walter? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. Who the hell's Walter? Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. Oh my god. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Oh no. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. Uh, you know, pregnancy take will care do that myself. sometimes. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. It's not gonna be easy. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. Aww. She's kicking. You wanna listen? Yes, ma'am. That food smells good. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Can I? She's gonna be a runner. It's not his. Whose is it? Whose is it then? If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need uh, to get some food in you. It's not my business to Thanks get Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're gonna eat? Walter... I love you, silly bear. Ooh. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. <gasps> oh! I love you too. Ooh. You get some rest now. Guys, do we want to pick up an angel? Let's do an angel. For Sarah. Okay, I will. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met oh. me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. A little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. Is Walter the beans guy? Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different He does to seem you? different to me. I didn't know him before. And, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. He does seem different than I remember. He seems In happier. Way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Okay, well, there, there's Kenny. Always has to play <laughs> the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Oh my god, somebody give her a change of clothes, please. It looks like she's the only one covered in blood. She is the only one covered in blood. Can we sit with Kenny? You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Kenny. Sorry, I gotta sit with my boy Kenny. Here you go, Clem. I haven't seen him in so long. I'm sorry. 
So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? What's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. I would. Do you that think guy, that he's the dad? Big Al? He said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Ooh! Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? I'm sorry, Kenny. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's like literally Kenny is sitting across from himself. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. <laughs> Peaches and I love beans. beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what Whoa. was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? <gasps> Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Maybe Krista's there. It's supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Ooh. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clown? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Please, don't fight. Yeah. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. The bowls are empty. I love me some beans. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> oh. Duck? Who's duck? Kenny. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Oh, no. No! Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. Oh. You get your... Oh, oh, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I can't decide. It's honestly just like a... Like a thing. It's like, I honestly feel like I should be staying with the bigger group. Um... But then, like, uh, it's just so hard because it's like, I don't know who these people are. I, like, just freaking met them, and I don't want to just, like, leave them there. But I've known Kenny forever, and I'm giving Kenny a sense of familiarity. And now I'm about to be like, bye, Kenny. But I also have to think about what's best. Because as of right now, it's just three of them. Together. Why do I have to choose? Oh, okay, but also Kenny's group is going to Wellington. You know what? I'm just not going to answer. Your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. Everything will not be fine. Oh, wait. What? <sighs> Do you really think everyone can just get along? Wait, that's not what I meant to say. They say the world is over, but I'll tell oh. you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. 
All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Who... Matthew... I don't know oh, why... politics? It the doesn't hell? feel right. Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. All of the conversation around Matthew makes me feel like the, when he shows up, Miss? we're going to be like, oh, don't you, Kenny. Ooh. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss? Bonnie. Okay, Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just going to let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Sorry, Thank Bonnie. You. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, let's do that what instead. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Oh, Walter seems like a nice guy. Nobody kill him, please. Mm, they probably will. Mm. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? Oh, <gasps> she's 11? Oh. I... I don't know. That's a good one. <laughs> Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Maybe I'm just not trusting of people. But... Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Ooh, can we, can we, oh, I was gonna say, can we listen in? Clementine, don't Ooh. freak out. Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Oh! <gasps> I didn't even put that together. Off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. <gasps> now they're all worried he's not back yet. What are we gonna do? I didn't... I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet. So we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. Oh, no. What if he finds out anyway? Well, then we're fucked. But, you know, we'll just... We'll just deal with it then. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Luke? Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. He's got to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. 
I'm serious. Uh, you guys can talk to me. I, gotta, I know. I what, you don't trust me now? Uh, oh my god, I don't want to. I have to tell him. Because oh. he has to know what kind of danger he's in, you know oh, what I mean? Jesus. Oh god. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. <laughs> Can't. Oh Do shoot! Not fucking blow I it. just ruined it. Blow first, it. Didn't I? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. I feel like we should what? tell. No, him. you can't. Hey, Nick, you hey. cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? Either way is risky. Exactly. Jesus, I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing. All right. Playing this game really makes me realize how indecisive I am. It's gone. Oh. Oh, shit. Um, Walter, what were you doing in my backpack? Walter, put the knife down. I always like this knife. Oh! Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I'm I can not, see it. I'm not answering that. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna tell him it was us. Oh, shoot. Jesus. I, um... I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Whoa! Whoa! Is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? Is he just one of those, uh, those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves? God, I can't. I can't say he's a terrible person, but I also can't say he's a good man. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to get out of here. Aw, oh, shit. This world is hell. People like Matthew aren't coming back. This is it, and now he's gone. What did you do? Did you hurt him? Hmm? Did you hurt Matthew? Down, Walter. Put that down, Walter. Oof. I didn't do anything. Okay, right? Nick. Now let's not lie. Walt, what's going on? Control. That sound's gonna draw walkers. We gotta shut it down now. Nick, help me. Carry the guns. Guns? That <gasps> thing's a damn dinner bell. Use a hand. I'll go with you. 
I'm going to. No! It's too dangerous. Rest of you, get this thing shut down. I'm like so silent. I don't like the way they balance the voice audio and uh Does anyone know sound. how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Like the ambient noise and the music are always like louder than their voices. Shoot. What? What? Oh. for oh to see <laughs> all you need to do is put the key in the whatever Something ain't right yeah oh shoot <laughs> we don't have much ammunition we got to get back to the lodge what about Kenny and Luke they're behind us. Where's Sarah in all of this? You can tell me she's taking a nice nap while all of this is happening. Out. Uh, uh, oh shoot. Okay. Please, no one else die. I will literally, like... <gasps> it's him. Howdy, folks. <sighs> Where's Rebecca? Carver. It is him. He is the dad. Nice to see you, too. <gasps> dad! Sarah! Oh, Sarah! Oh, Sarah, Sarah! Oh, no! 
Oh, Clem, don't come outside. Inside. Where's Luke and Kenny? It's you. Yeah, no nope. kidding. Oh my god, hi Clem. can't breathe. I hope Alvin and Becca are tucked away. Oh, well, Alvin's right there. I hope Becca's somewhere hiding. What am I doing? Leave this fucking place, Bonnie. Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, Ooh. too? Johnny, cover Ooh. that window. Oh, no! Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh! Oh! Rebecca! Oh. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh. Alvin, Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. <laughs> He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where is Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? They're still outside. They can help us. We have to help Carlos. Only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. We start shooting and people are gonna die on both sides. Clem can sneak out. Find Lou. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. No! Fuck you! Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Ah! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. I'll find Luke and Kenny. Stay here. God damn it. I don't see it. We need the two. Uh, we Hurry. need them. Let's see if I can get your attention. Alvin didn't seem shocked by the information. I guess he already knew. Carver is the dad, right? He did confirm? Or am I... Oh, God. I, you know, no time to look through the... Oh, okay. How do I get out? Luke, Kenny. This game is so freaking good. Clamp!
Do we shoot? I can't imagine the many faces I'm making right now. Ugh. Fuck you, Bill. Ew. His name was Bill? Got everyone. Who are these guys? Can we take them? I've got a pretty clear shot of the one. I don't know. Maybe we should go find Luke. Lukey Fuki. No. Ah! Walt! Oh my god. <laughs> That's for our man. Now I didn't want to do this. But you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. <laughs> or you can give up now. Your choice. Wait, what are what are we giving up? Motherfucker. Wait, what do they want? Kenny, over there! Hi, Elvin. No! Oh, oh my... No. Oh my Tell him to god. Stop. Kenny, stop! Alvin! Damn. It's a tough shot. What do you think? Clam! Shot. Uh, uh it's... don't oh don't oh, okay good oh my god I was worried I was really worried oh he's still of course Alvin's still gonna die oh, Alvin! Alvin Rebecca don't look just don't look Rebecca at this point I feel like in this oh game my there's god. just oh my god so much unnecessary death Oh my god, it's Sarita! Oh shit! No! Oh, son of a- I can keep this up all night! What do you want? Sarita! I'm so confused! We're coming out! Let's go! Wait, what are- Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. Does that camp happen to be in Wellington? Because Krista might be there. I don't think Luke left us. Oh my god! Oh, that went so fast! Son of a bitch would have shot Walt no matter what we did. Well, I ain't going out like that. Not without a fight. Yeah, I know. The folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them. Knowing full well, those who choose not to accept our love surely wish that they had. The storm is on the way. Guys, my brain hurts. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Ooh. You and 51.1% of players blame someone else? Wait. 
Did I blame someone else for Sarah's photo? I thought... Oh, I guess I, I didn't... I skipped the question. Who did you sit with at dinner? Obviously, Kenny. Uh, told Walter the truth about Matthew. You and 44% of players didn't tell Walter the truth. You and 42.7% of players let Walter make up his own mind. They didn't... Wait, but they didn't... But I don't think they gave us an option, did they? I don't remember getting an option to save him. You and 45.7% of players sought Kenny's help. Ooh. Little girl, little girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where oh. did you sleep last night? I, uh, I don't know. It almost feels like it, it just, there's so much unnecessary death that at this point, I think they're just doing it for shock value. Like, yeah, kill one person, kill two people, but just the, the, the amount of the fighting, and it's like, it's almost like the biggest problem isn't even the zombie apocalypse anymore. It's just people going and losing their minds. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I I enjoyed the episode and there's a lot of twists and turns, but I feel like they just keep killing people off. Um, and I'm hoping they choose to do something more creative with it than just continuing to kill people for the- <gasps> Oh my god, they died? Because who did we just lose? We lost Alvin, Walter, and Nick. Yeah. Am I, I feel like I'm missing someone. So, based on the preview performed by... Interesting. Based on the preview, it seems like Carver is going to be actually a pretty important figure in... A very important figure in, um, in Clementine's life. I mean, obviously, but, like, the way they set it up in the scenes, it looks like he's... Like, she's gonna follow him around for a bit. Maybe. Oh my god, the music... in these games. They're just so sad. Goobers. Oh, they add the telltale pets. <laughs> Mighty Pirate Pete. Mojo Jojo, Mojo O O D Jojo.
All right. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. My lord. And I found. Oh! Oddly, did I say something? Oddly satisfying pressure washing is what just came up on my watch. Blastaway.co.uk. What? Pressure washing. Anyway, uh, thanks. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.